Monster Hunter 2 introduced Rajang. He has gained a reputation among players for being one of the hardest fights in the series. However, when players finally fought him in Monster Hunter Rise, he was thought to be pretty easy by both newcomers as well as people who had fought him in the past. In this video, I will look into why. Rajang is both strong and fast. Strong enough to send you flying, and fast enough to rival monsters like Zenoga. He also has long range attacks in the form of this giant laser. When he enrages, he turns golden and gains new attacks. His arms can turn red, and your attacks will bounce off them, which makes him even tougher to beat. While Rajang is tough, he does have a couple of glaring weaknesses. Monsters have weak points where your attacks do extra damage. Usually it's their head or their legs, but with Rajang, it's his whole entire body. So if you can take advantage of the massive openings he leaves behind after every attack, he will die pretty quickly. Some hunters over the years have described the Rajang fight like a turn-based battle. Rajang attacks, then during his openings, he perform an attack or heal, and so on. It's a lot of fun avoiding and countering the sheer speed of every attack he throws at you. Rajang has appeared in Monster Hunter 2, Freedom Unite, Fall Ultimate, Generations Ultimate, World Iceborne and now Rise. The footage I'm using now comes from Generations Ultimate, and it's worth mentioning that Rajang is a bit more manageable in this game because of the hunter routes I can use to dodge his attacks. Rajang was the first update monster for Iceborne. He was a post-launch monster, but also a monster fightable after the final boss. The developers knew that most people would already be pretty powerful enough by the time they reached him, and as a result they made him a bigger powerhouse than he already was. The speed in which he strikes and chains attacks together is simply unprecedented. He is much harder than Generations Ultimate Rajang, and that's not even mentioning that Rajang in this game has a few new tricks. For example, if the player clutch claws him during his punchy punchy attack, he will grab and pin them. And if you knock him down next to a wall, he can grab it and bounce back, which denies you the knockdown. Unlike the older games, his body is no longer a weak point either, which is probably to encourage use of the clutch claw. To summarise, Rajang gained the reputation for being a difficult but fulfilling fight. His attacks are powerful and fast, but he takes massive damage from hunter attacks and leaves himself open. This creates a fun dynamic where you learn to avoid his attacks and then exploit his openings. Iceborne Rajang upholds his reputation a bit too much, but still manages to be a lot of fun. There is also a Rajang variant known as Furious Rajang, who is permanently golden and even stronger. Rajang was confirmed to be a monster hunter Rise. Rise Rajang is different from his Iceborne iteration in that he's in the game from the start and doesn't have his wall attack or his clutch claw pin. In fact, Rajang is much more in line with his 4U and GU iterations. He even has his old weak points back. It seems they toned him down a bit from Iceborne. So why is he considered to be easier? The problem is that they toned him down a little bit too much. His attack animations are heavily slowed down so you can see them coming from a mile away and dodge. He also has massive end lag on his attacks, and he will regularly stop and taunt, giving you even more attack opportunities. This isn't necessarily a bad thing on some monsters, but this is Rajang. He is not supposed to be like regular monsters, he's supposed to be a challenge. Rajang having slower attacks is made worse by the fact that our hunter is very mobile. I'm using Switch Axe, which is a fairly slow weapon that I use casually, and I'm still kind of dancing around him. In addition to this, the same way Hunter Arts made Rajang more manageable in GU, the wirebugs kind of trivialised Rajang and Rise. You can basically run circles around him. Rise had an event quest where a giant, stronger Rajang was present that was capable of one hit killing the player. This was fun, but it highlighted the problems with Rajang. The damage wasn't the problem, it was the speed. Another thing is that Rajang is supposed to be an invader in this game, but that doesn't really mean anything because he just sleeps the whole time. And when he does invade, you can just wyvern ride him. It's not really that threatening. The reason the developers did this is probably because they decided Iceborne Rajang was a bit too hard for a high rank game, and they were right. Unfortunately, when adjusting him, they went a bit too far, and the result is a Rajang with the moveset of his GU iteration, but slower in a game where the hunters are already very mobile. 
As a result of this, he can't really keep up with them. Sunbreak Rajang will not be as hard as I spawn Rajang for a few reasons, but mostly because Sunbreak Rajang will be in the game from the start. This means the developers can scale his difficulty with the base game and not have to account for power creep. However, they can definitely take some steps into making him a threat again. They can increase the startup of his attack animations and decrease the end lag, as well as the rate in which he taunts. This will make him as fast, if not faster, than GU Rajang. The wire bugs will make Rajang a bit easier too, by letting us zoom around him. So to solve that problem, they should give Rajang direct ways to counter them, similar to how he can counter the clutch claw in Iceborne. If Rajang comes into contact with a wire bug during one of his attacks, he should be able to grab onto them and swing the player around. It would be really funny and it would set him apart from all the other monsters. While I was writing this script, I actually really disliked Iceborne Rajang. I thought he was really unfair and stupidly fast. But when I went to record footage, I actually started having a good time. Dealing with his speed was really fun, and I think it would be even more fun with the wire bugs. So I think they should bring back Furious Rajang and give him Iceborne Rajang's moveset. The reason Rajang is easier in Rise is because they gave him his old GU moveset, but they made him even slower in a game where the hunters are more mobile than ever. This can be fixed in Sunbreak if they make him faster and even give him direct ways of countering the wirebugs. This should be enough to make him the powerful endgame monster we all know and love. I have an announcement. I need help for a future video. I am conducting a survey on the hunting horn. I want to know the opinions of those who have tried the hunting horn in any game before Rise and in Rise. I intend to publish the results in a future video where I talk about the changes and I need a very big sample size, so I'd be very grateful if you could respond. Thank you for watching this video, be sure to like and subscribe, and check out some of my other videos too.